even more. with convicted felon Larry Hoover this morning. Even though he's in prison, he is still viewed by police as the leader of the state's largest and most dangerous street gang. Joni Lum is here with the latest on today's raid. Joni? Sonia and Dave, authorities believe Larry Hoover is running an enormous gang operation from inside the Dixon Correctional Center where he is housed. Chicago, Illinois, and IRS agents carried out a federal warrant at the offices of Save the Children Promotions, looking for evidence of income tax evasion and money laundering. The 44-year-old acknowledged leader of the Black Gangster Disciples has been in prison since 1973 for a drug-related murder. At several parole hearings, he's claimed he's a changed man who is no longer violent. Today, police spent about two hours combing through the records of Save the Children on the South Side. They seized half a dozen cardboard boxes and file cabinets of financial records and also $7,000 in cash. Police say the charity organization has legitimate operations, but they also believe it is a front for an effort to get Hoover out of jail. Police believe that Hoover has been running drug trafficking in the city of Chicago from his jail cell and that potential tax law violations may be a way to dismantle the gang. Police also went to the home of Hoover's wife, Wendy Jenkins, where they also just took some records. And they haven't said yet exactly what they found in those records? or They, they found records with some amounts, but they did not find any drugs and they haven't had any charges yet.